These are really causing a stir. Folks, welcome to the wonderful world of Fieldsmith, something that you can only find here on HSN. This is a two-pack of solar-powered planter lights. These can be uh, used in so many ways. We can stake these. We can use them freestanding on a patio, porch, or walkway. We can even show you how to mount them on a wall or a fence post. They're powered by the sun. They illuminate at night and absolutely draw attention. We have four wonderful colors to get to, and we're gonna show you the different heights and different ways in which you can really maximize your outdoor space. We had something similar to this one time about a year ago or just under, and they just blew the doors off the building. It's taken that long to get it back, but here it is. Four colors from copper, black, there's the beautiful white, and the bronze are available. Uh, really well made, well constructed to withstand all the elements, day or night, rain or shine. You can choose between a warmer light or a kind of a brighter, purer light, but warmer or cooler, you get to choose. It's on four flexible payments of $18.74. My good friend, the amazing Rebecca Wood, is here this evening. Rebecca, you and I are actually <laughs> on at midnight with this. We are. I'm so excited about this launch, though. Take us so through excited. this, because a lot of us have never seen anything like this. Well, you, here's the thing. You want to know why I'm so excited about these? It's because... You asked for them. Yeah. We have, these are inspired actually by our large lampposts that we have. Those large pant lampposts are like seven feet tall. Yes. And everybody loves them, but I'm gonna admit, you told us you don't all have the space for it. So we took what you love best, the ability to have color and light in one statement piece and bring it to any area. Whether you live in a condo in a city with just a balcony or a sprawling estate, you can still have color and light in one beautiful, whimsical statement piece. But then we added options, because who doesn't want options? We love our variety. We love options. And folks, just so you know, this is our today's special. We have a few graphical issues that that graphic is going to turn that wonderful shade of ruby red in just a moment <laughs> so i get this home what tools do i need to build it none you can build them in five minutes okay. no lie Good five start. minutes to do two two Good five start. minutes for two but this is how it's going to look with the two that we have in front of us this is how it's going to look when you have all of the pieces together so you can see it stands a little about 36 and a half feet tall and you can showcase them any single way that you want but then you can decide what best fits the thing that i love about this is a lot of times you'll buy something and you'll get it home and you'll be like oh it doesn't fit there right, like I thought right. it was going to so you can decide all you have to do in a matter of, they say 60 seconds but I'm going to tell you it's less than that you can see you can take out the finials just like I did those extension posts and you can add the ground stake that comes with it and showcase those lamp posts in your yard make your garden glow create a walkway I mean anywhere where you want light you can have light just that simple and then use the planters elsewhere. What kind of height are we looking at in terms of this? Up to 36 and a half inches. That's wonderful. You, and then I love that you said that you can enjoy this throughout the year. Yeah. Because, you know, when fall comes, I, I hate taking those things down. Yeah. I was yeah. from Minnesota, it was depressing. It was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a way that you can enjoy this even in the winter. And you can just plant what you want to plant. Maybe it's fir and holly berries. Maybe it's going to be um, poinsettias or your favorite summer flowers. So you see how I have it there. You can use them separately that way. Now we have even more options. You can also just take the lamppost, hardware comes included, and within a matter of minutes again, you can see there's a little hole right there. Yep. You can anchor this and have this on a fence or a wall. As we, as, can you see it back there? Guys, we're gonna show you over here so you can see this. So we've mounted this on the wall. Now this looks like you spent $1,000 on had an electrician out to wire this through. That's not the case. No wires, it's all the sun. The sun's doing all of the work. And at the end of the day, when that sun sets, they will go off automatically and stay on for up to eight hours. That looks spectacular. Isn't it gorgeous? But you know what's amazing? As equally beautiful as that is, over here by these fabulous rocking chairs, you've used Use this at probably the largest height, right? That's the largest height because you have these extension rods that you can decide. So one of the things that you can do is put all Isn't of the beautiful? extension rods on one, and then you can also have um, two different heights because I love dimension. Sure. I'm all about dimension. If you talk to any landscaper, they're going to tell you to bring dimension, light, and color. That's the key. That's the key. Those are the three. And look at how easy I was able to do this. Now I could just borrow one from here. Watch how easy I can do that. Yeah. And we'll make this one 
Just take that right out, put that right there, and then I can make this one even taller. I mean, and look at how beautiful those are together. Look how grand that look at is. How, together. Now, you do get two of them. Again, you choose copper, white, black, uh, or the bronze. You've got the latest solar cell technology, which is what's going to keep this nice and light and bright all night long. So with this, we've got options, correct, in terms of the different color of light. And you know what? That's so important because we all have different needs for light, right? We all have different needs. So we see the warm that I have in front of me. That's what you're going to use when you want to create a warm and welcoming vibe. You're going to put that maybe on your front porch, a walkway leading up to your house. Maybe you're gonna use that as your coach lighting. But then that bright white, sometimes you want lighting with purpose. Yeah. You want the security. So you can just simply, with the push of a, bu of a button, you could turn it to bright Did white. Do you see the difference there? That was a, 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 a cool white, and then it went to that warmer white. So and you right choose now it's the getting too like much it. light from the studio, so I'm just trying, there, I can block it. Perfect. There, and as soon as that sun goes down, and it will turn on automatically. So once you choose warm white or bright white or off, it's going to turn on and you can enjoy it all year long. Well, we sent a pair of our brand new Fieldsmith planters to my lovely insider, Donna, who is joining us live right now. Donna, welcome back to the Monday Night Show. You are with uh, Rebecca and Adam. How are you? I'm great, how are you? We're good, Donna, thank you for asking. They, they, they just handed me some pictures here. Is this, is this showing me how you've used it? Is this yes. new? Oh, okay, That's Donna, what do you think to them? This looks fabulous. They are beautiful. I love them. The light, you can, I mean, I'm, I like the fact that you get two different lights because you usually don't get those. And they are beautiful at night. They really, the light is bright. The bright light is wonderful. And the, you could put flowers in there and they're easy to assemble. I mean, you don't even need tools to put it together. Isn't and that refreshing? And they really are pretty. Oh, yeah, and, Donna. Well, and they're uh, very lightweight. I mean, they're, I'm planning at Christmas time to like change them out and put some ferns in and put them, you know, around for the so, holidays. So. And, right. I love that idea. You're you're going to town with these. I love it. Now, Donna, let, do. let me ask you. It looks like in the picture that you put them on the tallest uh, the tallest height, correct? So these yes, are nice and grand. And right. don't, don't you just love the way it adds a bit more sparkle to the entry? It Especially. does. And I was looking looking for something that would put a little bit light on the deck when people come over and that. So they don't trip. And yeah. it's perfect to, to have you know the the stairs lit up as people go up to the deck and that. So it's they're perfect. I mean, I really really can't say enough about them. They're really worth everything. I don't hesitate to tell anybody to get them if they're looking for some decoration. And also the thing is nice, if you're not really somebody who likes to get dirty with plants and that, the six inch potted plants that you get at the uh, florist, <laughs> yeah. they fit right in there and it's perfect. In fact, it's funny you say that. <laughs> I know, she's, <laughs> look at this. You, you read our minds. Slip them right in. You don't even have to because yeah, it has to get dirty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I mean, Donna rather, thank you so much for taking the time. We'll see you soon. All thank right, you take so care. much. Good night. Thank you, Donna. Yeah. Well, with that in mind, Rebecca and I only have four minutes left. We'll do our full presentation uh, at midnight tonight what oh what did you do I wanted to show you my favorite way to showcase them I love this on my porch I put these together and you can see the beautiful decorative finials make kind of this um, butterfly effect that's sweet and then together you've also got that candelabra kind of effect with it this does look and you can have the, the flowers very easily on the bottom I would suggest if you wanted to I love just putting them in there that's simple sure. you can easily change them in and out but if you wanted to just a layer of rocks if you are planting because that will do two things one that will hold them down if there was a strong wind but two it also creates natural drainage for your flowers uh, good idea. so they're not good sitting idea. in that soil and when we go through the colors the other thing I want to mention that copper that's, this is the only place you're going to find that. It's you cannot find that us. anywhere else. And I most love limited. that. That is really nice. I want to quickly remind you with only three and a half minutes or so that there's so many options here. We can stake these in the ground alone without the planters if we so desire. We can use them with the planter, which is how I really prefer them to be seen. I loved what Donna did there where she had it flanking her doorway, flanking a staircase. That looks magnificent. I really think that 
mounting it on a wall, on a fence like we did. Now you can again mount without the planter attached or with the planter as well. This looks wonderful. So also you can do the planter separate too. So sure. if you wanted to create kind of a window box look, oh, good idea. it's so simple. It comes with the hardware in literally in minutes. It couldn't be any easier. So we have this all together or you could do them separately as you see the lights we have by the front door and then you can put the um, flower boxes elsewhere. And the other thing I love about this, we've thought of everything, is on the light, there's this little metal dome at the bottom of that LED I light. See it. So a lot of times when you're looking at a light, the light goes down. So yes. great, your ground is lit up. Sure, That's sure. <laughs> well, this will actually reflect the light up, so you're getting light in all different angles. This can be a centerpiece on a table if you're uh, inviting guests over to dine with you for the summertime, a wonderful summer grill out. Um, that'll be a wonderful way to create some arm Ambiance, choosing what flowers go in there. As people pull up in the driveway, having this nestling up against a tree would be wonderful. Uh, again, we can change things out depending on the season and the time of year. The decision between the cool light and the warm light is a tough one. I'm a big fan of the warmer color, but that cool color is a really crisp light. Uh, if you have a pool area or a pond and you want to really create a framework to that, fantastic. I love this. So this is here. when, like I said, whatever is going going to fit your area this is perfect for. So we have this on the lowest setting and then we have this on the highest setting and look at how beautiful that is. I would suggest using the warm light here because this is where you want to relax. Yeah. This is where you want to create a zen moment and enjoy it. But say the side of the house, a gazebo, maybe areas that are dark, that bright white light is going to be perfect. I do want to remind you everybody what this was truly based upon was the original solar lamp post over here. I think we have the details to share. This this is available if you'd like it. There was a lot of excitement because I think we're at 119 yeah. 